So today, inspired by Captain Hamster, I thought we'd make our own superhero pet. And here we have a micro Captain Hamster in all of his golden hamster glory. And I've given him a little cape and put a strawberry as his superhero emblem, because that's one of his favorite foods by the looks of it. So this is what we're gonna make him. We're gonna make him a little bit bigger and this uses one strip. So this is the rough shape of the body, quite a pleasing shape. And we're gonna pull all of those shapes out of there, the arms and the legs and his little tiny tail. And that will all come out of one strip. Now you could use white, we could go crazy with your colors. So I'm gonna use this and I'm gonna squash it up and get it nice and warm. So it's really important to get your clay as warm as you can. Squash it up, as I say, you could use a hairdryer, but I'm just gonna use the warmth from my hands today. It's a bit quieter as well. So in a pack of modeling clay, you get eight strips. So you could actually potentially get eight tiny superheroes out of one pack, plus the accessory color. So I've got the orange there to go on top. I've got some pink for his nose and hands. And then I've got a bit of blue for the cape and some green and red. And I might find a little bit of strawberry yellow seeds as well to put on there as well. So there is all of our colors and a little bit gray for the ears. They've got these really nice little gray ears. So this is quite a pleasing build, I think. And as I say, it's great because you don't have to stick on arms and legs. They're all in the mix. So you might want to start off with a kind of egg shape is a good shape to start off with. So get your tail nice and warm. The warmer it is, the softer it gets. And as I say, we can smooth over any cracks or you can just roll them in your hands like so. And I'm gonna start with this nice egg shape. And then what I'm going to do is bend the top of the egg over, start to pull the shape out and bend it over like so. So we're getting a little bit of a tummy for our hamster because they are have a lot of excess skin for the pouches on the cheeks. And I'm going to start to then pull out or tease out a little bit of a nose like so. There we go. So we're going to start to tease around a nose shape. And I'm going to get my thumbs either side of the nose and push back a little bit to make the kind of chin pouches. And then you can get your fingers in there and see what I'm doing there. I'm pushing the clay in and making that little, almost like a shoulder in there. And that's also giving them a little bit of a pouch to the cheeks as well. So they've got really chubby little cheeks. Super, super cute as well. So this is quite a quick build, actually. So I say you could make all sorts of different hero uh, rodents you could do a, a hero a super gerbil i'm liking captain hamster is a brilliant name i think really so you could have um general gerbil as well and i'm just using a tool here to make a little bit you could use your finger as well to make a little bit of a upper lip as well i'm going to give them a little cheeky smile like so give them nice friendly little faces because they are funny little creatures some are friendlier than others. There we go, like so. So we're starting to see the shapes really coming in there. So that's his little chubby face. And we'll add that nice red fur, gingery marmalade fur afterwards, like so. So what I'm going to do now is pull out. Can you see what I'm doing there? Look, I'm pushing the clay around and I'm pulling it to make some little arms now because they've got lots of fur and lots of skin it kind of you don't really see much of the anatomy really so we're just going to tease out a couple of little cheeky arms like so and again pushing the clay around and that's creating lovely just pulling down a little bit like so lovely little arms and we're going to put some pink hands on the ends of those as well so we're just suggesting a little arm and then a chubby tummy. And then on the bottom of that egg shape, we're going to start to then tease out again, grab some clay like so, and tease out a back leg. And we're going to put some little pink feet on the bottom. Lovely, lovely pink feet. And again, on the other side. So we've almost made like a, you see it from there, look, that's his back. And this is the legs. And do you know what? Almost, almost there, shapes wise, 
in terms of actually making our little hamster. The basics are all there, look, how cute is that? So again, just squeezing it around, tease it into a nice shape and make sure your little hamster is gonna be able to sit down as well. So give them a little bit of press on the floor and then on the back end, they've got lovely little tails. So I'm going to then pull down the clay like so, gathering it up into a shape and then just making a little, little tiny tail. Super, super simple. So it's a really quick build actually to make the basics of our hamster, like so. So we're making sure we've got some definition around those cheeks. I think that's quite important. Lovely, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's rather nice. So what I'm going to do now is warm up some orange clay. But as I say, you could use other colors. Hamsters come in lots of different colors, but this particular one, Captain Hamster, is a kind of golden hamstery color. And I'm gonna go for orange just because it looks nice and cartoony. And I'm gonna tear some of this off. But you won't need all of it. So I'm gonna take a bit at a time and warm it up. So I'm gonna take that piece there and I'm gonna squash it up and roll it into a ball to start off with, like so. And then I'm gonna to start to flatten it. So what I'm actually gonna do is maybe even make a carrot shape. So yes, I'm gonna make a little carrot like that. See how quick that was? And then flatten it. Get it as thin as you dare. So I'm starting with the top of his nose making a pointed shape and then I'm actually going to pinch out a little bit of a wider section like so and then I'm going to really flatten the rest out so we end up with a almost like a little kind of well I don't know what actually it's a peculiar shape isn't it something like that anyway so this is going to lay on the top like so so you want to get it as thin as you can really but what I'm doing there is just putting these little dinks in there. Can you see on my tiny hamster there, you've got orange around the cheeks. So what I'm doing is this bit will lay over the top and then sit on there like that. So I'm gonna spread the clay out a little bit once it's on. So make a rough shape and then you can help to spread it. So I'm gonna lay that onto the hamster's head, like so, and then I'm gonna push it quite firmly on, trying not to destroy the work that you've just done, like that. Can you see how that's moving? And working and then I'm going to start to push with my fingers push that clay down around the face now we're going to put a pink nose over there so I'm just going to spread a little bit of that clay around try and make it as symmetrical as you can and then we're going to bring the orange down over the cheek as well there we go we can start to build that up if you start to run it gets a little bit thin you can always add a bit more on that's absolutely fine we'll drag some more in there we go, now we're starting to really see our hamster come together. Lovely, absolutely brilliant. So keep doing that and work all the way around. And I might use a bit of camera trickery and speed this process up. So you can see us get onto the next stage. So say you can take a bit more time than I'm doing with it. But if you see, if you drag it down around the body and then over the shoulder as well, Lovely, I'm rather liking the process here. As I say, bringing the clay down. The warmer you get it, the easier this process is to do. Like so, there we go. In fact, I may almost have enough, but I'm gonna add a little bit around the bottom. We'll see, we'll see how we get on. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more around the bottom to do the tail. Right, so I'm just gonna lay my hamster there, sit him there, nice and happy. Happy little Campton hamster, and take another small piece. I need quite a bit less, I think, this time. So actually, I'm not going to need that at all. We'll clear that to one side. Don't need that. And again, I'm going to squat the shit and flatten it. And where the tail is, I'm just going to tease out a little bit of a shape like that. Can you see that? And that will go along the tail. So I'm going to overlap these two bits of clay, like so. So I've got the tail. To push onto there like that, tweak out the tail, and then around the back leg, I'm going to bring it down and underneath his bottom as well, a little bit. Bring that round over the haunch as well, these nice little haunches, and again towards the feet. So you could go up to the feet if you wanted to. As I say, you can make your own 
hamster design up. If you've got a hamster at home, my hammer's fallen over. If you've got a hamster at home, then perhaps it's fainting at how good it was. You could use your hamster as a life model and copy the pattern and the fur colour of your hamster or gerbil. Perhaps you've got a Marshall mouse or a, a general guinea pig. Well, actually, that's a gerbil, isn't it? So you could do something like that as well. But you could make all sorts of different rodents. You could make a mole. Not people, many people have moles as pets, but you could certainly do that. I'd quite like a mole as a pet. There we go. So we've got a lovely little gingery hamster. I'm just going to tidy up that bit at the back. And you could add a bit of texture if you wanted to as well, but I'm not going to worry about that for this one. And it looks rather nice. I'm just going to give my hands a little wipe because we've got lots of orange on there. So you want to try and keep the colours as clean as possible so you can give your hands a bit of a wipe. Either go to use the sink in some cold water and soap or use a wet wipe if you have environmentally friendly ones. Like so. And I'm now going to put some little hands on, I think. So I'm going to take some of this pink clay. I've got more than enough here. And I'm going to make some little balls of clay, really super tiny. This is a small hamster. You could go much bigger, but I rather like it at this scale, actually. So I'm going to start with the feet and I'm going to make little carrots. One little carrot and a second little carrot, like so. And then I'm going to slightly flatten them. And we're going to add those in a second to the mix. So we're just shortening them slightly and they're going to sit a little bit underneath the leg there. So again, I'm just taking that carrot shape and slightly flattening it, especially down towards the end. I'm going to stick the feet on the bottom like that so you can see cheeky little feet. Lay them on like so. And then I'm going to use a cocktail stick as our brilliant sculpting tool. and it's going to make some little toes, so like so. And you can add those features in. There we go. So roll the tool over, like so. You can see we've got nice little tiny feet. There we go, some good feet. And I might need a little bit more for the hands, so I'm going to use these two bits here, see how we get on. So say, if you find the hands are a little bit small, add a bit more clay. If they're a bit big, take some away. You just keep readjusting. It's only made of modelling clay, so you can always squash it and start again. There we go. So I'm going to now take these little balls of clay and just slightly flatten them. And I'm going to attach them like so. There we go. So nice and simple. So I'll do the same again on the other side. And like so, push that one on. And you can be a bit with it just to make sure it's nicely pressed on don't completely squash the shapes and again you can use a cocktail stick to make in some little little paws to offer grasping nuts and seeds and fruit there we go how cute is that i think that's looking rather marvelous now i'm going to take a pencil and work out where to put the eyes so i'm going to turn my little hamster around to have a look for reference. I'm just going to tidy up his face a little bit as well. There we go. And I'm going to poke in the eye there and there. And you can choose the size of your eyes. And they're quite big, they've got these lovely blackberry eyes. So again, I'm just going to soften the edges there afterwards, just to make it look a little bit less harsh, a bit more natural. Oh, he's fallen over, let's sit him down properly. So make sure he's nice and stable as well. I've got this bit of black clay here so I can just add that in. And again, try different eye sizes if you like. I'm going very small, I think. And there we go, there's one. I think that's a good size. And I'm going to recreate that magic on the other side. And there we go, getting there. So very quick, as you can see, 
not taking us long at all to really make a fabulous hamster. Lovely little blackberry eyes. And I'm going to add a tiny, tiny touch of white. So, um, like I say, two tiny balls of white clay. And I'm going to add those on to just give it that shine. So you can use dots or tiny little crescents. I think the dots work quite well. There we go. Very simple little touch. In fact, this one I think is too big. So I'm actually going to cut that in half. And obviously, if you've got smaller fingers, you'll find this a little bit easier. And try not to lose that little bit of white clay and pop it on like so. Really, really lovely. That's starting to come together now. So I'm just going to replace that little bit of that upper lip to give him a cheeky, cheeky smile. I'm just making sure the shapes are really nice. And you can go as cartoony or realistic as you like. This is actually quite realistic. Really lovely. So I'm going to add, I forgot the pink nose, didn't I? We need a pink nose. So let's take a tiny piece of pink and make a little nose, a simple little round shape for the nose as well. Like so. And I'm going to add that where a nose should go on the front there. Lovely. And I'm going to just make sure it's nicely attached. I might even add a couple of little nostrils. So I'm going to use this tool, use the end of a paintbrush or something and add a couple of little nostrils as well. Lovely. Now I'm going to add some ears. And the ears I'm going to make in grey because they'll stand out nicely. But you can use white ears or brown ears. I think the grey is a nice contrast against the white and the orange. So I'm going to make two little peas of clay. We'll get rid of the rest of it. We don't need the black or the white. Oh, the grey, sorry, for now. So get rid of that. Make two little peas. Try and make them the same size. Let's see how I get on. If I need some more, you can always add some on, as I say. And squash that pea kind of flat and then... So if you can make that because it is very small make a little dish shape in it and we're going to stick our ears on the front of our body and they should sit about there i think is looking rather nice and then you can use a tool or use your fingers if you've got little fingers and make sure it's nicely attached this is looking really really nice lovely there's one ear and we'll do the same again and pushing the clay around. Get your fingers in there, use a tool if you like, like a little dish shape, and then stick one on the other side. Try and make them kind of sit in the right place, symmetrically, if you can. And again, I'm gonna use a tool to smooth that in, like so. I'm just going to work my way around. Don't really need to smooth it in as in blend it in because we want that nice break of colour. And the grey really stands out nicely, doesn't it? Look, there we go. Oh, I'm really liking this. This is lovely. So there we go. I'm just going to use the tool. You could use the end of a paintbrush. It'd be a nice thing to put a little round circle in there as well to give it that dish-like look. So it's already looking like a great little golden hamster. Now that might be enough for you, in which case you could leave it there. I'm going to go the extra mile and add a superhero cape. So I'm going to go for a kind of superhero blue. And you could choose any colour you like, whatever your favourite colour is or whatever you think would be appropriate to your superhero pet. So Captain Hamster has got a blue cape, I've decided. And because it seems to like strawberries so much, I'm going to add a strawberry logo on there. And I could just put a red strawberry with a yellow S for strawberry. That could be rather good. But I'm just going to put seeds on, I think. Keep it nice and simple. So get your clay nice and warm. Again, you might want to give your hands a, a wipe between. But because I've been using these other colours that are fairly close to blue, I should get away with it. But if you want a super, super tidy, tidy Captain Hamster, then you can obviously take a bit more time over it. And what we're going to do is make a fine, fine cape for our superhero. So we're squashing the clay down and making it as flat as we can. Now we don't want to go so, so thin that it won't stand out. I think it's nice to have a little bit of thickness to it. So it looks like, if you can see that look, that's nice and thin, but still got enough body to hold its own shape as well. So what I'm going to do is then 
tease out the top. You could flatten the, the end of it to make it super, super symmetrical. And then I'll tease out the sides of the corners. We've got a nice sharp corners. And then I'm going to just push my finger into the middle there and start to tease out these shapes like so. And this is the edge of the cape. And that's what we're after, really. Nice, simple shapes. A nice cape shape. And that's going to wrap around the back of our hamster. So I'm just going to make these a little bit longer and then I'm going to offer it up against my hamster and see whether that's going to work or not. So what I might do at this stage, there we go, I'm just going to leave that on the table a minute so you can have a look at that while I give my hands a good wipe again because this blue clay is going to come off on my hamster and we don't want that. We don't want colour run on our superheroes. So there we go, give your hands a good rub, good wipe and move on to actually testing out the cape and see whether that's going to work. I think I might need to widen it a little bit already. I can see that it's going to be a little bit of a struggle to fit around his chubby little back. So there we go. So I'm going to add that on like so. And I'm just going to gently press around. And that will come up to the orange bit on the side. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. And we're not going to worry about where it actually sticks. I think it's just going to stick into his fur. And then you can put a little bit of a shape. Heroic, with a bit of wind perhaps blowing through his cape to give him heroic status and shape. I'll worry about that in a little bit though. So I've got a nice blue cape on there. I think that looks rather marvellous against the orange. And now, again, I'm going to give my hands a little bit of a wipe because I'm going to go straight onto red. We don't want a purple strawberry. You could go for a blackberry or a blackcurrant. I'm not sure if, if hamsters like those or not. You take a ball of clay, a small ball of red clay or whatever fruit you might want to put a, a raisin on there or a peanut or something like that. Whatever you think your pet would like to eat or whatever their superpower is. You might want to put a, a red triangle with an S like Superman for a superhero. Or you might want to do something else. But this is like so. And try it for size. It might be a little bit big. In fact, mine is a little bit big. So I'm going to take off a little bit of that and have a rounder strawberry. So again, you can spend a bit of time playing with your logo. You might want to design it first. You might want to draw your superhero pet first and then try it out. So I'm going to try that and see how that looks. I think that looks quite special. And I'm going to push that on to the cape. Now you could do this off your hamster, but I'm going to try, try and show you it in place. So you could you could do that a little bit better than I've done it, to be honest. There we go. So we're going to add a bit of greenery. So we're going to add a little green stalk on the top. Or should we just add, you could just add some little triangular bits for the tops of your strawberry, like so. So keep it nice and simple. In fact, I'm not going to bother with the stalk. So can I put three little triangular leaves on there? Now these are really super tiny. So again, if you've got smaller fingers, this will be easier for you. And pop each one on like so. There is that one on the left, one on the right, and one in the middle, I think will be a nice addition like so. And as I say, take your time over this, it's worth Spending a little bit of time thinking about the kind of design you're going to put on your cape. There we go. Nice three little sprouty bits. And I'm going to just grab a tiny bit of yellow from somewhere. I haven't decided yet. I haven't found where I've put my yellow. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, there we go. We saw some lemon yellow off screen. And I think that's just going to make these tiny little pips. So I'm going to make little tiny balls of clay like that. You could vary the sizes if you like, or make them all the same size. That's completely up to you. It's your design. So you might want to put, choose a different fruit. Perhaps your hamster is a fan of sunflower seeds. So you could make sunflower seed Lego on the back. 
I'm going to go for, how many have I got there? Three, four, five, six. Let's try six. We'll see how that looks. Generally, I think odd numbers will look better, I think, but we'll see. I'm going to take a tiny piece and try and pick it up on your finger and then dot them onto the cape. Like so. A little bit more oval, so you can make them a little bit more oval like that. And actually varying the size is quite nice. There we go. So let's go for that. These really are tiny. So I might see how many I put on. There's four. Do you know what? I'm going to go for five. I was right. Odd numbers looks best. So there we go. Five little seeds. And there is our superhero. Hamster, Captain Hamster, with his strawberry cape, his little tiny tail. And um, let's just clear the decks a little bit to see him in all his glory. But there you go, a nice quick make for you. And um, have a go yourselves. <laughs>